Hello, and welcome to Stellar X. Today we're going to learn how to use the new scenario system. This scenario will be quite simple. We're going to press a button here in the scene in order to initiate a rocket launch. This rocket was created by artist Maroon 3D and was imported from Sketchfab. Without further ado, place a mini-graph in your space. Close your collections, then open the Minigraph Remix panel. Open the canvas and rename the Minigraph Rocket. Next, open your Constellation menu. Choose Reference, 3D Object, and your button. We've just created a reference asset for the button. See here, we have the on press event. We will use this event to initiate the rocket launch. Next, open the constellation menu. Go to flow control and set a limit. This limit will allow us to restrict the action to one time only. Connect on press to flow in. Then reopen your constellation menu and choose the rocket as reference asset. When we press the button, we want the rocket to take off. To do this, in your constellation menu, go to Action, Animation, and choose Transform. We're going to animate our rocket's position in order to see it take off. Set the current position of the rocket as the initial position. Here we see that the rocket's position is 28, 3.7, and 27. So let's add 28. 27 in Z. Then in Y, choose a very high value in order to simulate a takeoff. Let's say 100. Next, we'll make the rocket tilt in flight. So add a 45 degree rotation in X. We want the takeoff to be quite long, so set a duration of 100 seconds. All that's left to do now is to link your nodes. Once that's done, save your progress and go to preview mode. Press the button. And as you can see, the rocket starts to take off. We will now add a delay before takeoff. Go back to your mini graph, open the canvas, and check the flow control category for the delay node. Here, when pressing the button, we want a 5 second delay before takeoff. Let's reduce the duration. Then let's test the scenario. Press the button. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the rocket takes off. You now have all the basics to help you use the scenario system. The next step is to add fun sounds to your space to make it even more realistic.